Well, hello, everyone. It's great to see everybody. I had to rush back here from uh, <laughs> the service and then got caught by somebody. But, yeah. man, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I'm Perry, if you guys didn't catch that. And how about everyone else? Share your names. I'm Zachary Kreger. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Layla. Awesome. Well, let's jump in. What would you guys think of the message, the service? What was your highlight of the whole service? Whole the, whole the whole service. service. Definitely the pre-show. <laughs> Why was the pre-show so good. awesome? Just because the people who like do the pre-show are really cool. Are you brown nosing right now? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. They do an amazing job. Yeah. But. Yep. Uh, the pre-show was good. I didn't care for today's question of the day. Did you know oh, what it was? Oh, yeah. Like, how old, how old is old? Like, what yeah. year? Yep. Yeah. Uh, what was kind of the average? Because I didn't get to hear it. It was all over the place. Yeah? It was all over the place from 2000s to, like, 1950s, 60s. Yeah, I heard I someone say 1950. I was like, oh, I'm not old. Yeah. I said 79, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. What do you guys think? How old? We said what like, year makes old? We said, like, 60s, mm-hmm. 1960s, 1950s. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to say 1970s, 1980s. Yeah. I feel like if you're born in the yeah. in the mid to early 80s or old, <laughs> I feel old. So Anthony is taking offense to it. He's running our tech over there. Uh, but yeah, I definitely feel old. And I was born in 84. So if I feel old, I just figure out the rest of the people around me are old. But cool. What else stood out to you guys as far as what was a highlight of today's service? Hmm. Well, I think it was an excellent message. Ooh, um, thank you. Yeah, brown nosing. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of brown, brown nosing, <laughs> um, I throughout the message I was trying to think of like <clears throat> times where I have been in or a part of like a conflict or conflicting type of situation, um, and I, I couldn't really think of anything like huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know I have, um, but. The main thing that I was thinking about is that I do whatever I can to avoid it. I do not like Mm -hmm. conflict. Mm -hmm. So I think that's partly why there's not a lot of like big things that come to mind, especially recently. Sure. Um, And then of the things that did come to mind, it's um, because of myself, not Mm. so much of others. Mm. Right. It's like when I've lost my cool with situations. Mm. Sure. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that actually leads to the first question I wanted to ask is like, where do you guys feel the tension between this pursuit of peace and justice? Layla, it sounds like for you, it's more like, ah, I just would rather just not deal with it yeah. so mm-hmm. much. So I, it's almost like the pursuit of justice kind of like, ah, no big yeah. deal. I just won't, I won't have the conflict. Yeah. I probably have turned the cheek when I shouldn't, mm-hmm. uh, just so that I don't have to be, yeah, feel the sure. conflict. Um, I analyze a lot and I would, and have been in situations where I'm like, uh, I see both sides and mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, um, and, and being fully transparent, like I don't vote, I've never voted because I, oh, wow. I, I think it's important, <laughs> but I just don't feel educated enough. And like, yeah. that's how, that's how much I, I will do whatever I can to avoid. Sure. Conflict. So like, and that makes total sense because on one hand, everything you said was awesome. Like, yeah, you know, I try to see both sides and put myself into other people's shoes and analyze these things. But then if we do it to the point where we're not able to make a decision or not able to ever kind of take a step in defending ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, There is a, Mm -hmm. I think that's the hard thing about this whole thing. Yeah. What about you guys? Um, I thought it was funny how you like, when you were mentioning that, like if you're selling your house and your house is flooded and all that, it's like. Oh man, you're talking to me because uh, <laughs> ours done that a couple times. Ours too. And, yeah, it's like especially when it rains. Like, mm-hmm. but um, it's like because we're legitly selling our house and it's already like it's pending and all that. And then Kayla, my wife, she's like, she's like, all right, when we sell our house, do not tell them this, this, and this. And I was like, why? It's already sold. Like, they're like you say too much every time we do this and all that. I'm like. Sorry, I'm I'm an honest person, and mm-hmm. I like to, like I want to inform them that way it's not caught off guard like when we were. Like I'd rather have someone coming and telling me just mm-hmm. to keep an eye on it. But mm-hmm. yeah, so and then uh, like the job where I'm here, like I'm always like I always want to try to please everyone. Also, mm-hmm. it's so hard, and it's like 
I feel bad when I'm not pleasing everyone and all that. It's like, well, I'm trying to, like, I'm, yeah, like, a person here, he was just saying, like, hey, if they can't do it, it's all right. Like, they'll deal with it. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but it's just hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any thoughts, Elizabeth? I'm kind of in the same boat as Layla. <laughs> but really? it's <laughs> We're on yeah, the side. Right. Like, yeah, really. <laughs> everything's great over here. Elizabeth seems super <laughs> confrontational. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> watch out for me. No, it's just I don't know. I just I'm a I feel like I am a hardcore people pleaser, mm-hmm. and I just don't want to make anyone mad, and I don't mm-hmm. want anyone to think that what I'm saying is coming from a place where I'm like trying to hurt them or be yeah. hurtful or mm-hmm. criticize them, and I feel like that's just the natural instinct of so many people. Yeah, especially just with how everything is right now. Like, I feel like everyone's just so quick to being like, oh, well, you're just trying to rip apart who I am when, like, that's not the goal. That's not the point. That's not. And so I feel like there's a lot of times when I just kind of have to, like, suck it up, bottle it up for a second, and then just, like, hope that I move on from it. So, I don't know. I just struggle with Yeah, and I I think if... Just looking at scripture as a whole, even that verse in Romans that we use where if whenever possible, pursue peace. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to err one side or the other, it's better to err on the side of peace. Mm -hmm. Um, But because of that, um, there are many Christians who Mm -hmm. really do struggle with kind of like letting people walk all over them. And and that's not the heart of what God wants either. And so sometimes... It's just that hard tension that's mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Um, and I've gone through different parts of it in my life. I remember there was a season of my life where I remember in high school, there was a season where it was just like anybody could do whatever they wanted to me. And I was just going to be like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then when I got in college, I was like, nobody's going to do this to me. <laughs> and, and I would just like <laughs> pay back everybody. And it was like, well, that's not good. So, you know, finding that correct balance is tough. Yeah. Um, But when it comes to pursuing peace, there were several things that uh, I pointed out from the book of Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Uh, There was like loving people, ignoring people, not ignoring people, but ignoring the offenses, um, letting it go and not gossiping. And then I think the other one was staying calm and using calm, nice words and different Mm -hmm. things. Which of those things do you find yourself struggling with the most? All. All. Yeah, I was gonna say. So not that, yeah. one. <laughs> um, I, and one of the things that you brought up, where you were talking about like the mama bears coming mm-hmm. out, I was like guilty as charged. <laughs> That's another thing too. Like if you cross my kids, like then, yep. <laughs> then you know you're definitely gonna see a different side of me. So I think probably staying calm would sure. be one that resonates with me. I mean, again, I'm, I think I'm pretty cool, but if it, something happens with my kids, I will immediately react yeah. mm-hmm. um i think another thing too is like i can be really if again if it's if it's conflict that i'm involved in or that maybe something i did um i was thinking earlier that i can be really hard on myself mm. too mm-hmm. like i it'll i will beat myself up about something like mentally yeah. not like literally <laughs> um right but i will be so <laughs> mad at myself <laughs> bad <laughs> Layla, you bad dog <laughs> um but right, like I for days, I'll make yeah. I'll make myself sick about something, you know, just because yeah. again, I'm wor- I very high worry and anxiousness mm-hmm. or whatnot. But yeah, yeah, it's hard to stay calm. Um, can I can definitely react to hmm. things. Yeah, what do you guys thinking. think? I also just beat myself up and <laughs> think about it, and I don't know. I don't really struggle with like letting it go. Once I get to a certain extent, like, I'm just kind of like, okay, like, it is what it is. But then if I feel like I was the one who was in the wrong or whatever, like, I just constantly, like, overthink it. I'm like, okay. And I just get mad at myself and then I don't forgive myself. Mm. And, yeah. 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 So we cannot be each other's accountability buddies. No. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think, Zach? Uh, I don't know. Like, I have a few things going, like, coming up soon, and I'm like, all right, I don't want to mess this up. Like, all right, how am I gonna say it where everyone like won't judge me and like, 
or I'm getting to the point and like, it's just, I don't know. I'm always like self doubt myself. Mm -hmm. So like all that judgment or like, I don't want to make any, again, anyone mad or anything like that. Yeah. So like trying to get to the point too. Hmm. So I think for me, um, it's, it's very situational. So like mm -hmm. with my wife and my kids, uh, with my kids, especially staying calm is like probably the thing I need to work on the most where it's <laughs> like, it doesn't take much, like if, especially if they're being like disrespectful to their mom or something like that, mm -hmm. like it doesn't take much for me to be like, rah, 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 rah. Uh, <laughs> and, but with my wife, it's, I am almost always super calm to begin with. Mm -hmm. But then if it just, if we continue to argue and continue to argue, it does like, I have to just be like, okay, keep it down here. Yeah. Keep it down here. Uh, like, I, over time, like I'll, I'll deal with that, mm -hmm. with that getting yeah. loud uh, <clears throat> yeah. sort of thing and just my tone and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> with other people outside of my family, I think honestly, probably the thing that I need to work on the most is the first one, the loving people part. Not because I don't feel like I love them, but because sometimes my schedule is so busy that mm -hmm. I don't know that I always am able to show people the love that I probably should yeah. so that when the wrongs happen, they're like, Oh no, this guy really does love me. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, so, it, and so that, you know, even that you got to kind of be careful with like, you know, crucifying yourself too much, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, there's, there's some of that. I, yeah. I get the that. tone part. Yeah. Cause like <laughs> when I'm like talking to the kids or my wife, they're like, why are you yelling at me? I was like, I still have a few more octaves to go. Like, <laughs> like, well, I'm not yelling. I'm just I talking. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I still have a few octaves. I was like, this is my normal like excitement or yeah, whatever. This is my normal voice. Right, why, yeah, I was like, what are you talking like, about? <laughs> it's getting warmed up. It's yeah. so funny when like I'm talking with my like my sons because yeah. we're very similar in this and Jenna's the only girl. Yeah. And so she'll hear us talking, like we're literally just talking. Mm -hmm. She'll be like, Perry, you're being really mean to them. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Like we're just talking. Right. Like and, and it wasn't even like a disciplinary thing. It was just like a hey, this is what we need to do and that sort of thing. It was just literally just us talking about a situation. Yeah. And they're like, Yeah, mom, we're just talking. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so it's funny when that happens. And my wife, she's like, Stop yelling at stop yelling at them. I was like, I'm not yelling at them, I'm just telling them. Like Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just yeah. funny. But but it's true though. Men oftentimes are told like hey your tone sucks yeah mm -hmm. yeah i get that that happens a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do that yeah. all the time too. Yeah. yeah yeah for sure all right so let's switch to the justice part so when you think of justice and we talked about having justice uh in ourselves um justice with others and justice for others mm -hmm. uh where do you see yourself pursuing justice most versus perhaps doing it the least so again, like <clears throat> I probably focus way more on justice in myself, mm -hmm. right? And probably to a fault mm -hmm. where I carry things on way too long in my head. And again, the whole bad dog situation. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that there's probably been a lot of times where I haven't stepped up as much to support others. Yeah. Um, because again, I... I I get afraid, honestly, mm -hmm. yeah. of if I will make it worse or what what will others think of me or yeah. what's the right side because I try to stay neutral with certain things. And um, it's not to say that I haven't. There's definitely been things that come to mind where I have, but it's just I I if that I will always ease on the side of like mm, you know <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll send a supporting. <laughs> <laughs> chat or text message like <laughs> yeah. i support you from the side <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. but um yeah that's that's probably where i would lean so hard because everything's so nuanced right mm -hmm. what about you guys i'm probably in the same boat again yeah <laughs> we're on the side together yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah I, I don't know it's just i feel like it's also like the little people pleaser in mm -hmm. me that's just like I don't know. Like, I want, especially for, like, the four others, like, I want to be that person that can be supportive and that can be there and be like, hey, let's figure this out. Like, I want to support you, but I also want to, like, figure out what's really going on. Like, all those things. Like, I want to be that person. And I feel like I'm better at doing that than, like, if it's, like, m me and someone else, like, in that type of a situation, not, like, just being, like, the support for someone else. Sure. So I feel like it's just that, like, the middle one 
Yeah, the four others one for me is is easily the hardest one. Yeah. I'm not bad at with others. Like I'm if it bothers me, I'm probably gonna say something. Mm-hmm. Uh like that I I don't know. I've been called confrontational in the past. Um uh but it's uh for myself, I'm I'm a lot like Layla with that. Like I can definitely beat myself up uh, really bad, and I'm so I'm very um, self reflective on that sort of stuff. Um, but when it comes to four others, like stepping outside of my own bubble, um, there, sometimes that's hard because. And I think one of the reasons why I struggle with it the most is because when you do that, you are picking a side. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when you pick a side, you've 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 then alienated the other side, mm-hmm. quite possibly. Uh, most likely, and um, everything is so nuanced, and there's so many different sides to every story, and mm-hmm. there's there's all these different things, and so I don't want to be perceived as this anti this kind of person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I want to mm-hmm. be a perceived as a for person. Like I'm for you. I'm for. Mm-hmm. And so that is the one I I struggle with the most. I've been and and I'm still to this day in that part of the message. I was speaking very much to myself um, because. There are things going on in our society that aren't good. And sometimes I struggle with speaking out against those things so so that we will pursue justice for those who are being hurt as a result of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a see me, I'm like I was raised where like if you have a problem, just go to the person. Like Mm -hmm. just hey, this is what I feel, this is how like what's going on. Or if like if you see someone like doing something wrong on someone else go to that person again like mm-hmm. yeah that's how we i was raised and like sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't and sometimes <laughs> it gets you in trouble too at work but sure like i just it's my opinion and i like it's part of it like mm-hmm. I, I don't know yeah mm-hmm. well anything else stick out to you guys were there any other thoughts that y'all had i think one thing that came to mind um that I was kind of mentally thinking about when you were talking about how it's hard for you to, um, you know, like for others or with others, probably more on the for others. But a lot of times too, I almost think that I justify it because I'm like, well, God will deal with the situation, Mm -hmm. right? Like Mm -hmm. justice will come naturally from God. That's how I feel. Um, So, I don't know. I guess, like, do you think that that is maybe a wrong thing to do? In Hi, certain, I'm sure it's, like, again, <laughs> situational. Um, but I guess I started to think, like, maybe I'm almost using it as a an excuse or a protective mechanism to not yeah, I think, insert myself. I think, yes, uh, like, to <laughs> both, right? Um, if I had more time in this message or if it was more of a part of a series, mm-hmm. I would have talked about that side of the coin because there's plenty of scripture that talks about how, you know, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Um, leave justice to him. He'll take right. care of it. There are verses in Proverbs that I could have used from that as well. Um, <clears throat> and so, yes, God, ultimately, everything is going to be justified. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, ultimately he's going to bring justice for all things. Um, and you know, the, he'll also bring grace for a lot of it too. So, I mean, he's the one who gets to be the ultimate judge and that sort of thing. Um, and so, and, and he is ultimately in control of that. But to your point, yeah, I do think sometimes we use that as a crutch. Cause I mean, I think about it, like let's use really extreme situations. If America was like, you know what, look, God judged with the Nazis in World mm-hmm. War II. Well, Europe would be Nazi Germany right now. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I mean, without Russia on one side and the U.S. on the other side, there is no, there is no, the, mm-hmm. we, the allies lose that war. You know, right. I know that's extreme, right. but I think that's kind of the, the tension that's there where it's like, okay, God, you are the ultimate um, judge and you're the one who is bringing justice to these things but when are you actually wanting me to be right. your agent of justice right. yeah. and I think we've also seen the ugly side of that where it's like we see Christians on these crusades and mm-hmm. like and it's like ooh yeah. that's too much like you, <laughs> you're going too far right. yeah. and then but then on the other hand you do have the other side and that's why I tried to point that out I feel like within our church we err more, definitely more on the side of peace. And I think mm-hmm. that's good, but I do see more people here getting walked over. Yeah. Um, and or allowing 
bitterness to creep in because you're like, I've been hurt and now I'm, you know, gossiping yeah. about it and I'm, or I'm just going to leave or whatever. Yeah. And so I see that more and we don't have the crusaders at this church as much. And so I think that's why maybe I le- leaned into that a little bit more yeah. 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 today because I felt like it was what we needed. A yeah. More. I think it's funny how you were saying like, you see these people that got walked over. I was like, that's what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Like, like most, like there, you, when you said most of them get walked over, I'm like, Oh yeah, that, I've been there. Like <laughs> with family members yeah. and other people where I like work and all that. I'm like, yep, that, that's me. I, yep. I tend to get walked over on all the time. Cause I'm yeah. an easy target. I always sure. like, I'm a yes man. Like I don't like to say no to people and I try like whatever makes them happy. Like, sure. So yep. there's so much strength to that, but there's a great book out there for anyone who would like to dive into this more for uh, yourself, and and that's called Boundaries by Henry Cloud. Uh, fantastic book because so often we think, oh, well, exactly what Zach said, it, but that is unhealthy. Like there, that's how abuse ends up happening in certain mm-hmm. situations, and so. Um, Although we're called to forgive, we're not called to continually allow people to just walk all over us or abuse us or mistreat us. Mm-hmm. Um, and so from a personal level, I would strongly encourage uh, that book if you'd like to dive into it more. So if there are any questions that you might have about today's message or anything else that happened during our service or that you've just been wrestling with, with your own faith or your own beliefs about God or life or literally anything, you can ask those questions. We would love to be able to answer them. If we can, you can go right here to this website, my3c.org, submit your questions. They are totally anonymous. If you don't want it to be anonymous because you want someone to follow up with you, fill out our connect card instead. uh, And we can follow up with you there. Um, And, Like I said, if we can answer your questions, we will, and we'll get to them as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you all so much for being here. We're glad that you guys could join us, and we look forward to seeing you all again next week.